Hi there, I'm Neil Myers and welcome to WineExpedition.com. Thanks for stopping by the site and hope you're enjoying it. If you're watching our videos elsewhere on the internet, we have our friends at TubeMogul.com to thanks for that. And we'd love to invite you to check out our site, let us know what you think. Doing a little tasting today of a Grenache, but this one is from California. It's actually from the Santa Cruz uh, AVA, which we've talked about a lot lately. It's one of our favorite spots we recently visited. Uh, if it was up to me, I'd be living in Santa Cruz right now. Uh, you know, wonderful little beach town uh, surrounded by mountains where amazing grapes are grown. But uh, known for its Pinot Noir and Chardonnay and Cabernet Sauvignon, but this is a Grenache. This is the 2007 Central Coast Grenache from Storrs Vineyard. Storrs is, again, located in Santa Cruz. Their tasting room is actually a very little charming area of downtown Santa Cruz, just north of the sort of theater in the town square. Uh, you, can, you don't even have to go into the, into the mountains or, or drive very far. If you're staying in Santa Cruz, you can pop into their tasting room. It's right there in downtown Santa Cruz, and they have uh, quite a, a range of wines to taste. Again, this is the 2007 Grenache. There's only 200 cases of this produced, uh, and it's grown at two, vineyards, two small vineyard sites uh, above the Santa Clara Valley, close to the coast, close to that Monterey Bay fog, cool temperatures, you know, cool night breezes. So it's a great place for growing grapes. Yeah, off the bat, the nose has got this brightness to it, sort of a um, strawberry, raspberry. A hint of pepper, which is something we sometimes talk about with Grenache. But other than that, it's got this brightness to it that I'm not used to. If you're talking about a French wine or a Spanish wine with Grenache, it's usually a darker food in my experience. Um, this has almost got, it's just brighter. Um, Mm. Yeah, it's strawberries and blueberries and raspberries, just a, a chock full of berries with a little vanilla and a little spice and again that little bit of pepper. But uh, the wine has a, a, a nice bright acidity to it, but again I, I wouldn't, uh, it doesn't taste like a Grenache, it almost tastes like a, a, a Cab Franc or, or something else, but it's really a unique tasting wine. Mm. I actually tasted this at the winery. I remember the same sort of re reaction that it was very unique and different and not what I expected from a Grenache. Um, something about, I guess, the Santa Cruz Mountains and Grenache produces a really interesting wine. And the folks at stores uh, know a thing or two about growing grapes in the Santa Cruz area. So I would, uh, I would strongly suggest you seek this one out. Only 200 cases made, so you might not uh, be very successful. But if you uh, have a chance to visit Santa Cruz, and you're staying in somewhere in downtown Santa Cruz or Capitola Beach, the, uh, the store's tasting room is not far, right there in downtown Santa Cruz. And uh, they have a, a wide variety of, of Zinfandels, a lot of good Zinfandels there, uh, Syrah. Definitely worth checking out, some nice Chardonnay. So, um, so there you go. But this one again, if you can find it, the 2007 Central Coast Grenache from Stores, only 200 cases made, but I strongly suggest you give Stores a try or any Santa Cruz, we'd love to hear if you've, you've had a Santa Cruz wine that you've liked or if you visited a Santa Cruz winery that you liked and you want to tell us about it, please let us know. Until next time, I'm Neil Myers from WineExpedition.com. Cheers.